Hello Wargaming Enthusiasts and welcome back to another turn of combat mission, uh, Red Thunder, as we observe what happens next. Most of our infantry remain stationary, although the teams here are moving up as we have ordered. Um, the mortars have stopped firing now. There we go, we're getting their messages that they've stopped firing and they're also moving up. The uh, snipers here are also moving into position. So, oh, and we've got another contact. We have got a visual on another panther, panther tank. Uh, sorry, panther tank. There we go. Um, from these snipers here. And uh, these guys don't see them yet. All right. So we've got another one spotted. Uh, they're looking through those woods, I guess, and trying to spot us. They're also unbuttoned, and I imagine they are also surrounded by infantry. All right. Hopefully he didn't spot us, although we'll uh, certainly be on the lookout of uh, any enemy fire. And we've lost visual contact to the uh, MG team over there in that nest, but that's, that's fine. We uh, ordered our infantry here to hide in those woods, so uh, it doesn't really surprise me that we did uh, um, lose contact. And what's going on here then? So uh, the ISU has been uh, peppered with machine gun fire from that nest that we spotted back there. It doesn't seem to have been spotted by the uh, panther there, although uh, as I go back on the playback we see something happened here so I guess the panther has been firing maybe uh, let's uh, there we go let's take a look no the ISU has taken a shot at the panther and the panther has still not spotted him which is interesting certainly um, it's a near miss too it would appear um, I wasn't aware that from that position we would actually be able to uh, spot the, the panther but um, I'm fine with shooting at it now that we're in that position. Uh, I might consider withdrawing from there, especially since uh, we're being peppered by machine gun fire. That certainly means that we have been spotted by uh, the machine guns over there. Um, and it would appear that the Panther is aiming at... What are you aiming at, Mr. Panther? Let's lower down our camera. Let's find the Panther. And it would appear, let's turn off the trees as well, it would appear that the panther is aiming at uh, at our uh, advanced scouts there. Um, he is seen by, this, by the snipers and I imagine he, that means he also sees the snipers, so we have to do something about that at least. Uh, we might move them up a little bit, uh, we might order them to hide, however it means this guy is probably free to take up to take another shot before he has to hide from the panther tank. And then again, we are, as far as I can tell, in a hold down position. Most of our uh, hull being behind the hill, we definitely have to uh, we definitely have to uh, limit our elevation there to shoot at all. So that might be actually a very good position to engage that panther. And uh, I guess we'll see if uh, Mirek withdraws the panther or keeps it fighting. Uh, that would uh, help us ascertain whether he believes that, that we are in a superior position or not. I think... Well, let's see now. The, uh, the ISU started shooting at about 30 seconds. Alright, that's a pretty shot. <laughs> So, they started shooting at that time, and uh, the ISU fires about, I think, three shots per minute or something like that. Well, probably about two shots per minute, so it should be aiming in very soon, and I think that would mean... Well, since it didn't fire in this turn, it's going to fire at the beginning of the next minute, I think. Um, which would mean... That it's going to take a shot probably before the panther even uh, manages to take aim. 
which is great, which means we have a chance of defeat, defeating it. I would love to see that Panther burn. I just that 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 tank is going to be a thorn in our in our side if it runs away. But if we do manage to take it out, well, that would be great. We might actually want to move something up there in addition to the uh, one ISU that's there. Um, we definitely want to button this ISU up. And uh, I think this is all that happened this turn. All right, so let's take a stab of ordering at ordering people about. First of all, you are going to uh, fire. Uh, you are going to fire at the enemy until he is destroyed. Um, or for. Ah, let's think about this. Let's just let's just make it a normal tar uh, normal target. Uh, the enemy target here. He's behind woods, which you know is not great. But we are pulled down and behind woods, so we should have an advantage there. You, the spotters, I want to move up a little tiny bit to uh, maybe see more of that machine gun nest over there. You. Um, let's have you reverse. Let's have you move up here, and let's have you move here, uh, which hopefully will allow us to uh, give additional supporting fire from that position over there if it's necessary. Hopefully, it will not be. I was not planning to engage uh, armor at this point, but since we did. Sp spotted for some reason and I, I honestly thought that that ICU would only be able to uh, shoot at the uh, machine gun nest over there but not at the panther because of the woods but since it can shoot at the woods why not take advantage of that you guys are pretty useless in your position as spotters if you're placed right there so let's move you up at least there and once you are up there let's try to figure out where we're going to move the next. You guys are going to be advancing pretty soon, I think. You guys don't see anything from here. So let's have you move forward. Where are you exactly? You're over there. So let's have you move forward here. Very slowly and very cautiously. You guys, you're not spotting anything either. Alright. That may or may not mean there's anything there to spot, but hopefully the enemy is only on that ridge line over there and not anywhere here. Where we could uh, take objection to, like in these woods right here. Let's there, turn the trees back on, speaking of which. Anyway, um, you guys, I think I want you guys to move up here using hunt. If you spot anything, you're going to uh, lay down your face and uh, try for, uh, you know, not getting shot at. Uh, but if you can advance all the way up to that wood, that's great. Then we can start moving up the rest of our forces there. Um, you, okay, you seem to have spotted that uh, panther tank there, which is great. So we can keep you here. Um, or we can try moving you up a little bit further. Maybe we could move you up. Um, well, let's see now. We would love to see um, some forward movement on this wing, just to give the enemy the impression that we might be organizing a, a more advanced move, or a more organized move, so... Um, why not do this? Let's use Hunt to get the... Uh, to get the sniper all the way to that smoke, or actually all the way to where I think the smoke is going to spread. Seeing as the wind is in a westward direction, um, this smoke should be uh, spreading towards the left side right here, as you can see on the compass in the upper uh, right corner. Okay, we're not going to move anything here any further, and we're not going to move anything here any further, I think. Right, you're moving up, you are not doing anything very much. The mortars are still moving up, and they will deploy when they're done. 
you, I will move all the way here because I don't want you to be um, in the uh, sort of line where the uh, bullets from that panther may land. Um, yeah, and we're still not going to engage with our infantry. We're just going to slowly, slowly move up and we will hope for the best with uh, this uh, assault gun right here. And I did say they should not be opening up so much anymore because they're under fire from uh, enemy machine guns. And we don't have anything to suppress that fire with uh, currently because we're not willing to engage our infantry. All right, so um, I just want to say I'm, I'm sorry if this if this particular installment is uh, quiet, but I'm in my parents' house for Christmas and I don't want to make a, a whole lot of noise. Um, this was the case for the last few days, but now I feel I am in a particularly... Uh, well, sound carrying room, I guess, is, is, is the phrase. Um, and uh, if I'm a little muted, that, that's why I don't want to I don't want to wake anyone up or anything like that. Anyway, um, that's our turn. That's my excuses. That's our turn. And uh, next turn, we're going to see what happens here. And uh, I can't wait. See you guys then.